perfect 300, Bob Benoit. Mark Ross. Tonight, we're situated in the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada, where the decks just keep being shuffled, the roulette wheel keeps spinning, and of course, the dice keep rolling. And this week, 300 was the lucky number at least 11 times in the $150,000 Hilton Hotels Classic right here at the Reno Hilton Lanes. You know you're in big trouble. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> won't be the first time that. Benoit was glaring at you during the open to this when he is not yet 40 years old, and he wanted us for sure to make mention of that. But he's close. Well, he's in the neighborhood. Yes. Really one of the outstanding pressure bowlers on the PBA National Tour. Comes up with a light hit and leaves the 2-8 on lane 29. Bob Benoit, who changed his entire game a few years ago, he used to be a real straight player, went home, took a light ball, and started working with this cupped wrist delivery and, and progressed and worked on it, and made himself a, an outstanding bowler. And chatted with us prior to the telecast, told us that he has also been working once again on going a little straighter from time to time, so that he has uh, a little more in his arsenal as uh, he goes by the two pin takes out the eight and there's an open frame in the first. I thought that was going to dip in there for a minute then. It looked like it was quivering near the edge. Which Soper will probably go straighter than anybody on the telecast has this little spin shot that never seems to hook early. Anytime you put Butch out near the one board and give him the angle he can be lots of trouble. Especially when he's got that angle to help that ball coming in. He is a uh, very, very effective. Butch, five-step player. Stands way back at the end of the approach. Very quick with the feet. Now, as he gets to the top, you can see right here, there's a slight cup there. Now watch how stiff he comes in there with the leg. Opens with a double, and he told me that he was having some slight problems with lane 29, the left-hand lane. A little bit tighter, I think, that lane he said it was. It's interesting that, you know, he's he's 44 and he's been bowling for 22 years out here. That stiff-legged approach has never given him any trouble. Benoit with the early wake-up call, courtesy of, the, courtesy of the double by Butch Soper. A little better shot here for Bob, and he strikes on lane 30. Well, this is a guy that, uh, when he starts throwing strikes, just never stops. Benoit again, all the way at the end of the approach. Much more delivered as he goes up there. Knees slightly bent. Look at how steady the head is. Now, as he gets to the top, see how that wrist is really cupped? Similar to Soper, but he makes it react entirely different as he comes through. Good balance there at the end. Rolls that wrist right through the ball. It's like a palm ball did. And one of many players, Mike, on the national tour, tossing down equipment that's not 16 pounds. Now, he says there's a number of players out here going to that as he throws two in a row now to get right back in this match. Obvious advantage to throwing a, a little lighter sphere. Well, the, the advantage is that uh, it's easier to get the speed, and he's throwing the ball at 16.1 miles per hour. Belly in it quite a bit. Soper again on the right hand lane, so it's three straight strikes for Butch Soper. Nice fast start. That's what he's looking for. But who doesn't say a whole lot in a lot of times is wearing a microphone down there. Wonder if we'll get any comments out of him at all. You can hear him twist that thumb into the ball. Tight fit. And he has a real tight thumb, then. Perfect for Butch Soper through four frames. And uh, we'll come back to the Reno Hilton Lanes where Butch Soper has the first four. We said we might see a perfect game tonight. Who knows? Butch Soper may be the author. We'll be back with more after these messages. Okay. This week, it was just a question of carry as Benoit down 31 isn't able to carry the 10 pin. I find it interesting that, that Benoit has learned so easily to cover so many boards when he all his life he had been a straight player there's a there's a whole different mental approach to doing that well, at one point in time he said in order to survive on the tour he had to go home take some time off and learn how to create some area with the bowling ball 
Well, obviously, that's one approach. I mean, Walter Ray has been become a star by really throwing the ball straight. I mean, uh, when Walter came out here, I mean, he hooked the ball more than he does now, and he can do it again now. He can throw it all different types of ways. And we saw Norm Duke last week who can hook it or throw it straight. I think that that's where Benoit wants to get, kind of like what Duke can do right now. Walter Ray, though, a player that uh, we have seen him excel on every single type of condition out here on the national tour. <laughs> Benoit trying to play the oil line and does. Nice solid strike. But the question is, will he be able to come close to maintaining pace if Butch continues to throw strikes? Well, not if he continues to throw strikes, no. And at that speed, at that 15.7 miles per hour, you know, if, if he slows up a hair, it's big trouble. If he throws a little harder, I don't know whether it'll make it back. Butch is just going straight to the hole. Now he's just going to label the pocket and uh, take what he gets. See, when I was talking to Butch, Butch in practice, his only concern was if he pulled the ball slightly in a board, you know, to the foreboard or something like that, that it would fade off and he'd leave the bucket. Oh, another outstanding shot. He is just geared up, focused up. He's got a pretty good feel for this pair of lanes. He's doing better, actually, than he did in practice. He had streaks in practice where he threw a lot of strikes in a row, and then he kind of lose it for a couple of three frames. Right now, it's just like practice to Butch. He's telling the guys in the truck, you mark it down this way. <laughs> He's already projecting his score. Yeah, right. Making it easy for the guys in the truck. Right there. Well, now the benefit of the light hit, Michael. So right now, he's got the entire pocket working. And Bob Benoit, uh, you know, he's, he's struggling out here uh, down, what's he now, 42 pins, 52 pins, and he has a ways to go. He's got to start striking to get back into this match. Solid 10 the last time, and a much better result on the right-hand lane. It's interesting with those types of shots where you have that cupped wrist action when the ball hits the pins it's like they just fall over like an accordion they just kind of mush into the pit you know I never did that oh uh, you got a few of them into the pit well I got them in the pit but they didn't fall down that way I mean it was different reaction which soper halfway home Got that 10 out that time, Dan. Got to be a bit of a helpless feeling, though, for Benoit. Things can change in a big hurry. It just takes one open frame. Of course, he was on the other side of a 300 game a few years ago, and that one was worth $100,000. Plus, it was in the title match. Plus, the guy that he bowled, Mark Roth, bowled 255 in that mm. game. It wasn't that he, he gave it to him. Yeah, he got slaughtered. <laughs> I'm sure Mark remembers that one well. Soper again, high flush this time on lane 30, and the veteran from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, is really relaxed. Uh, he's cruising right now. Butch Soper straight to the hole, right over the third board. That's exactly what he's looking at. He didn't know whether it was going to hold, but it did. He kind of looking at it like this. He's saying. All right. Put it. And there it is, right there. 19.5. That one board belly. His ball speed's been impeccable. Soper continues the run. And a sigh of relief as he'll sit down in the chair and try and bring that heart rate somewhere back down near to normal. That'll be tough. But she's pretty calm. I mean, he really is calm. Did we dare mention, you know, that there's 10,000 if he uh, throws four more in a row? I'm glad you did. Bob Benoit right now just pretty much bowling for fifth and trying to get out of the way. And Butchie, who just annihilated him the last round of match play, he was 235 pins out of fifth place and moved all the way up to fourth. Great story because he said to start the day, he said, I had no chance whatsoever to make it to the telecast. I just came out nice and loose and free, and uh, all of a sudden I started shooting 260s, and everybody else started going backwards. Yeah, he shot 230, 250, 260, 260, another 260, another 250. His low score was a 208. That'll work. Benoit in the ninth. 
trying to get some practice in. And he says, I'll take the hit. And Bob Benoit has not lost this match yet. Then. I mean, you would think so as we watch it get all the way out to the edge this time. Kind of held his hair right now. And it comes roaring back, and that's what we talk about, a creating area. Well, Benoit still has a possible 258. Right. If Butch would open, he would be in the 250s. Plenty of speed on this shot. Oh, that was whistled down there, Mike Durbin. Well, he's three. <laughs> we talked about it at the top of the show. 11 perfect games this week, 10 in tournament proper, and one during the Pro Am. Bounds was his, uh, what he told us, the tougher of the two mm -hmm. lanes for him. It was a little bit tighter, but I think he kept moving right with his feet. They're flying out of that shot, Butch Soper. 10 in a row, he's sinking 10,000 right now, Mike Durbin. And Butchie has bowled lots of 300 games in his career. It's not that he hasn't been in this position before, but he's never done it on television before. 21 300 games. Said prior to the telecast that he'd like to say hello to all 77 of the shareholders that put him out on the national tour. I'm sure they're all very much interested in this opening match. If he gets the 10,000, do they get part of that? I'm going to say that's part of the action. <laughs> Tupin just kind of crunched that forward. Look at the uh, the eyes and the lips and everything. Butch takes no time. Same routine as he's gone through every other shot. Performance by Butch Soper, who shoots 300, Mike, collects 10,000, and he's still in this championship. We'll be back to chat with Butch Soper, who just fired a perfect game, perfect game number 12 this tournament here at the Reno Hilton Lane. 